make 53 pointers over multiple unlimited games to get Dale Curry, the big daddy, granddaddy splash brother. Man, look, 2K, look how Dale Curry looking at y'all. Unk is looking at y'all like, why me? Why us? Why you got to do me? I can I can talk for days about why, why, but we understand why. We got a, another VC bundle. I don't know how much this one costs. No idea. You get one hour of double XP. I don't know why you would need that if you've been really playing the game. Oh, because it's for the new users. It's for the it's for the users that haven't got right yet. So in today's video, we are bringing you the bold and the beautiful insert volume three, volume three type B. We got Ja Morant out here. I'm about to tell you how to get Ja Morant, how to lock in these uh these bold and beautiful cards. We got Doug Collins out here. Uh, I don't know how to Jamie Yaskes Jr., Nicholas Claxton, Jalen Williams and Dale Curry. And then, of course, we got Ja Morant, another 6'2 point guard with a glitch. I don't know why he's 6'2. I believe Ja Morant's bigger than that in real life. Let's let the situation develop. Let's see how tall this guy really is. All right, well, Google has him listed at 6'2. I guess it is what it is. I thought he was a little bit taller than that. I thought Ja was bigger than that. He plays above the rim, so maybe that's what it is. With a 6'7 wingspan. All right. Google got it. I mean, Google Gaga, you know what I mean? Google got it. At this point, Google is king. So, uh, let's see what the NBA has to say. All right, well, I stand corrected. On the NBA website, he is listed at 6'2", 174 pounds. It is what it is. He is 6'2". I guess he's 6'2". I struggled to even make this video today. The content just seems kind of stale to me. I don't know, but you can get this bundle right here, this super bundle. If you need 200 KVC, if you need an hour of uh, XP coins on my career and my team each, I mean, the most in this bundle would be the 200 KVC for me. Let's see how much it costs. Okay, and it looks like you can get that bundle for $44.99. That's how much it said for me. I don't know if you get the same discount. It's the it's basically a $50 bundle. Uh, hey, go for it. What we looking for today, though, we're going to get into the tell of the tape. We want to see what it takes to get these this uh, bold set. We still got gladiators on the gladiators are still on the market. Amari Stoudemire is still the 50 clutch time online win. Penny Hardaway is still $20 on the market. I don't know why you wouldn't want to. Why would you want to go get him? I got Penny Hardaway. For, he's not that bad of a guy. His hairline is straight. His hairline is straight. Do like look one one triple dipple reason why do not buy these. Do not buy these bowl packs. If you buy agenda packs, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for your mother. If you're using her credit card, especially to buy bold cards or any agenda cards, the equal chance pack. No, do not do it. For what? For why? <laughs> I mean, you want to show you just don't want to grind. I mean, come on. Let's see what it takes to get these agendas. I got a lot of agendas to do. These are bold three. All right, look, first of all, in order to get Nicholas Claxton, you got 13 days to get him get 25 blocks with centers over multiple games. Small forwards make 45 dunks with small forwards over multiple games. I'm sorry, did I say 45? Make 40 dunks with small forwards over multiple games. 76er triple threat wins, get 10 triple threat offline or triple threat online win using three 76er players. Unlimited threes, make 53 pointers over multiple unlimited games to get Dale Curry, the big daddy, granddaddy, splash brother, splash daddy, splash grandpappy. All right, uh, 20, 20 point games, Thunder 20 point games, score 20 points in a game with a Thunder player 10 times. Grizzly wins, get 10, win 10 games using three Amethyst or higher Grizzly players. Morant career 40 point games, score 40 points in a game with a point guard eight times. 
and then multiplayer dunks make 30 dunks over multiple multiplayer games you got 13 days to go ahead and get those done the bold three situation is upon us and don't forget it didn't say that you have to do this in order to get the bold cards but you got your bold spotlights that'll give you a bold unsellable pack that should get you a guaranteed bold player i'm not sure if that's how it works but that's what it should do and you also get a bold base pack and you get a six card shoe boost pack so make sure you do your spotlight challenge on that joint because you get free packs from doing your spotlights yes indeed he did me personally where i'm at on my grind i'm out here trying to get to dark matter glen rice that's just what i'm grinding for trying to get them 20 th them 20k points in uh unlimited this is the team i've been using this team is okay you know what i mean i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go out here and say I, it could be better it couldn't be better excuse my french um it's just what i've been having fun getting to it with it's the way i've been getting to it yeah what do you want me to say it's i'm doing what i can with what i got you know what i mean so uh, i'm having fun though i'm coming across some squads that are that are cheesier coming across some squads that have a little more umph than this but the one thing i can say is jason tatum is a pretty good guy i haven't really upgraded any badges on buddy i'm waiting to see if wait this isn't him where where is thank you I just need Jason Tatum to the floor, please. I haven't really upgraded any badges on bro, but what's going on with his shoe? I went in through a three point shoe on him, acceleration, lateral quickness, steel, and perimeter defense. That gives him 99 defense, pretty much, and 99 three pointer. And I mean, I feel like he's up there with my premier defenders like that. I can throw him on ball. I feel comfortable throwing him on ball. His speed is a little bit, uh, I wish I had like 98 speed, maybe maybe 98 speed who knows but what it is is i'm feeling comfortable with him if i if he suffices and he stays he stays he feels playable after a month or two i might put badges on him if i if i a couple more weeks let's get into season seven and see who comes out that might be a little bit oomphier might be a little bit more terrible for the six eight situation and i might i might not be using him who knows who knows at that point but for for what i'm doing right now he's working he is working out i'm telling you it's not that bad i'm using coach lenny wilk i mean george carl george carl's not bad i mean he's giving a good boost george carl's really not bad bro i mean he's giving me defensive consistency and offensive consistency plus five and i really like that i wish there was a three-point boost in there but beggars can't be choosers he gives a plus four speed attribute so that's that's always comfy that always makes me a little more comfortable speeding my players up off ball is always a plus driving dunk and standing dunk attribute you know i like to throw I like to throw them whoopty whoops so that is what that is too the squad not feeling too bad the squad ain't feeling too bad i'm comfortable with vince carter over here i'm comfortable having these defenders on the floor as far as jimmy butler goes vince carter uh jason tatum and then of course you know henny smith jr jr smithers mr smithers it's one of my favorite players in the world we got i'm still running oscar robinson i'm not lying i will not lie to you and then arvidas sabonis he's just a bonus to me he's a bonus his arms are a little small but i, I mean i would like a longer wingspan on bro i'm not gonna hold you all right but that's enough about me we told you how to get to the bold and beautiful. Now let's talk about the tale of the tape. Start out with Doug Collins. I'm gonna start out with Doug Collins here. Doug Collins look like Kobe. Tell me, buddy, don't look like Jackie and Mickey Ficky Moon. Get Doug Collins out of here with that afro. Oh, cute self. That's a cute little afro, bruh. Hey, I don't know much about Doug Collins, but shout out to you, my guy. All right, back to the tail of the tape, though. 19 Hall of Fames, 43 gold ones, a 93-point shot. A 93-point shot is crusty. Is this guy a pink diamond? Yeah, I think he's a pink diamond. He got low post moves. I mean, it's looking dusty for it. It's just another pink diamond filler. It's another reason to grind. Yeah, I mean, just some grind to the... Add some grind into it. He got Anthony Simmons. He looked like... Richard Simmons, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's what came to me first before Jackie Moon. 
he do look like Richard Simmons. I'm not going to, hey, I'm Watch not going to hold back. I'm going off on y'all today. 2K, y'all kind of, y'all kind of eyeball. Anthony Simmons and Gary Trent Jr. on normal. Uh, nothing, to, nothing to write home about. Basic dribbles. Trey Young combo move. Vince Carter step back. Yeah, it's looking like just some extra mid. Doug Collins, welcome to, to welcome to my team. I guess Jamie Vasquez Jr., a six six small forward shooting guard, more pink diamond filler. You know something to grind about. That's all it is. Nineteen Hall of Fames, forty eight gold ones. 93 point shot i mean if you need him on your team i've been coming across folks i've been matching folks in unlimited with you know diamond teams i've been matching folks with a lot of pink diamonds on their teams i'm not gonna hold you some of y'all might need them y'all can't compete with the normal jumpers the normal jump shot timings it's, uh, it's tough it's tough for y'all but that's jamie vasquez jr i mean if you need bruh Go grind for him. He'd make your team a little bit better, I guess. Then we got Nicholas Claxton. Nikki Clacky, a 6'11 center power forward. Get Nikki Clacky out of here. Bruh, uh, just more filler. Like I said, 19 Hall of Fames, 26 gold ones. 2K is getting lazy. 88 three point shot. 2K is getting lazy. This man has no shooting badges. There is no reason to have this player on your team with a three point shot at 88 and no shooting badges. Somebody just didn't do their job, I think. Like, what is 2K doing? What are you doing? What are you guys up to? Are you like getting lazy with these? You getting lazy with these. At least you're giving them to us. That's really all I can say. We got Jalen Williams, a small forward shooting guard, 6'5. 6'5, small forward shooting guard. 27 Hall of Fame badges, 37 gold ones. Buddy has a 94 three point shot. The badges look okay. At least he has shooting badges. I, I'm just, I'm kind of like taken back. I don't know what to say. 95 driving dunk, 95 driving layup. Okay, this is a better card. This is a Galaxy Opal and it's a little bit better than what we just saw out of them pink diamonds. Them pink diamonds look lazy. I don't know, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Jalen Williams on very quick. At least he's a very quick jumper. You got to get your hands on as many of these grindable, galaxy opal cards as you can he has circus layer package he has a bunch of dunk packages 15 dunk packages surprisingly michael jordan dribble style elite motion style donovan mitchell signature size up um what's jumping out at me nothing's really jumping out at me in these sigs these sigs look kind of they look kind of sorry at least he got dunk packages though and he has the seven two wingspan um i mean that's a good addition to the team if you if you come if you come across bro now we got dale mickey ficky curry granddaddy splash daddy uncle splash big daddy splash papa splash big papa splash puffer i don't know we can give him a million names 27 hall of fame badges 35 gold ones this galaxy opal might be the one you want on your team if you need a spot up but i did say that about jj reddick and JJ Reddick's jumper turned out to be some bull. I do not like it. He did not make my team. 97 three-point shot. He has all Hall of Fame shooting badges, as he should. You might want to give him brick wall. Nah, maybe. That do make him a little stronger, you know what I mean? I don't see him moving with the ball, but I mean, a 90 ball handle, 93 speed with ball, that's kind of low. I don't see him moving with the ball, but I do see him moving if you need him to move. Gordon Hayward, lower base. Taj Gibson, upper release on very quick. Uh, normal leaner, pro two hop jumper. He has floater specialist on his, he has, he's equipped with floater specialist and he got three dunk packages. Side, sidearm tomahawks, athletic one handers off one under basket regulars. Okay, so he does have a little standing. He has Steph Curry's signature size up and escape move and combo. Steph's move and crossover. Steph's move and step back. He's Steph Curry's daddy. He is Steph Curry's papa. Move and hesitation is on pro. I would like that maybe to be some elite motion style. And then dribble style is on pro. So this is Steph Curry's daddy. I'm not, I'm not even going, I'm not even going to say anything other than that. But look how he's looking at y'all. He's fed up. He is fed up. Dale Curry is fed up with how y'all doing things. And I mean, it's, this is a good addition. 
I'm not gonna hold you. I depending on what his jump shot is, that's the only caveat. It's depending on his jump shot, he'll make the team. I mean, hopefully his jump shot is better than JJ Reddick's, because that was crazy. But um moving right along to Ja D Morant. D Ja Morant plays above the rim. You know how he gets down. This is a dark matter that could possibly rival the likes of Gilbert Arenas. Now let's see who's it looks like Ja is in the lead. Ja Morant is in the lead by 62 points. 62. He's beat. Okay, this is point guard two so far. He's point guard two, at least. Let's see what he is against Curry, though. All right, so I, I, I'm assuming he's beating Curry. Yeah, he's beating Curry by 128 because Gilbert was beating Curry by at least, I don't know, some margin. I, I don't remember the margin, but Gilbert was beating Curry. So he's point guard two. Let's, let's run through his tail of the tape and then see what he is against Shea because Shea Gildress has that, that dribble package with him. 40 Hall of Fame badges, 27 gold ones. 27 gold badges, 99 close shot, 97 three point shot, 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 vertical, 99 stamina, 98 hustle. This man is up there. He has upper 90s defense. His defense is upper 90s, bro. 97 steel, 98 perimeter defense, 98 defensive consistency. Y'all can y'all can run through them badges real quick. Alpha dog and expressive. This card is not looking too bad. 99 speed with ball, 98 ball handle. 99 driving dunk, 99 driving layup, 98 draw foul. Only thing I see yellow is lacking is post moves, post hook, and post fade. It's lacking intangibles at 25. It's lacking a shot IQ. So he doesn't know what shots to take, but he knows how to hit them shots. John Morant layup package, only eight dunk packages. I wish we could equip more dunk packages. That would be an idea for 2K devs. If you're watching for next year, maybe you could sell us dunk packages try it who knows drop the ramp jumper on very quick now i'm a, i would have i'm gonna have to get in the gym and see what that jumper is hitting like i don't know exactly what john Morant's jumper hits for so you want to test that out and get acclimated to it if you could trey young's escape move moving step back on john wall those are the two that i'm usually looking for moving step back and an escape um everything else is looking is checking out kyrie's dribble style which is not bad Motion style on John Morant, signature size up on John Morant, combo moves on John Morant, breakdown moves on John Morant, pro moving crossover and pro moving behind the back, pro moving spin and pro moving hesitation. I guess y'all could have gave him a little more than that on the hezzy. Just pro hezzy is kind of, kind of slighted. So it's no telling what he's going to be moving like. He's, he might, I mean, I want to say as far as his movement, gonna leave something to be desired let's see what he match up, matches up against Shea Gilgis let's really see what he matches up oh he got Shea Gilgis got him by 20 he's a better defender than Shea but Shea is looking like he's eating in the post Shea Gilgis is eating in the post that's where he makes up and I mean are you gonna put him in the post that's the whole thing are you looking to put John Morant in the post are you looking to put are you looking to put Shea Gildress in the post for that matter? So Shea Gildress plus 20, but that plus 20 is coming out of the post, it looks like. So I don't, I don't know. As far as the animations go, we would want to say Shea Gildress is eating with that, that pro Chris Paul, pro versus Chris Paul. I, I think that's going to be the difference. And then moving crossover pro versus John Wall, that's going to be the difference honestly combo moves that tim hardaway combo we got Kawhi leonard dribbling style motion style i'm saying and then dribble style and they both got kyrie so i mean uh let's call it what it is john morant might be rivaling shea gilgis alexander i mean i'm not gonna hold you that's your bold pack four is there anything else we need to address? Leave it in the comment section if you would like me to address anything more in these videos. I would like for you to like and subscribe to this page because this is what we do here. Even when I don't want to do this, I'm doing this. You know, it took me a minute to get up and do this today and I'm yapping at this point. So y'all go ahead and get up out of here. Peace. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.